Hello everybody, welcome in. My name is Sin, and most of you could probably tell by the title of this video exactly what we are going to be starting today, and I'm sure this entry title screen is familiar to most people, but this is going to be my very first playthrough of Red Dead Redemption, and I am so excited to actually start this game. When it came out, like most things that have come out over the past four years, I just didn't have the time to sit down and devote myself to this game because I was aware of how expansive that it was going to be, but now I finally had the time and the means to just sit down and fully immerse myself in the journey that is supposed to be Red Dead Redemption. Because I've heard great things about this game, but I still have heard nothing about this game at the same time. Anyone I've ever heard gush about this game refuses to give me details, they just say I need to play it for myself. So I've managed to avoid pretty much all the spoilers, and full disclosure, never played Red Dead 1, so if there are any references to that, I'm not gonna catch them, I'm sorry. But I figured since this was a prequel, it would be okay for me to start this and then move on to RDR 1 in the future. But. So excited to finally start this game. I've heard nothing but amazing things and I'm excited to finally be able to understand the hype. Or are we starting? I think we're getting there. All right, by 1899, the age of the outlaws and gunslingers was at an end. America was becoming a land of laws. Even the West had mostly been tamed. A few gangs still roamed, but they have been hunted down and destroyed. And I'm guessing we are part of one of those gangs, because it wouldn't be a rock star game if you were not an outlaw of some type. But that's the charm of it. Abigail says he's dying, Dutch. We'll have to stop someplace. Okay. Arthur's out looking. I sent him up ahead. Uh. If we don't stop soon, we'll all be dying. This weather, it's May. I'm just hoping the law got as lost as we did. There. Oh. Arthur! Any luck? I found a place where we can get some shelter. Let Davy rest while he, you know, an old man in town, abandoned. It ain't far. Come on. Come on! Yeah! Where are we that it's May and snowing like this? Okay, chapter one, Coulter. Gaskell, get that fire lit, quick. Miss Jones, bring in whatever blankets we have. Mr. Pearson, see what we've got in terms of food. 
Davy's dead. There was nothing more you could have done. What are we going to do? We need supplies. Well, first of all, you're going to stay here, and you are going to get yourself warm. Now, I sent John and Mike a scouting out ahead. Arthur and I, we're going to ride out, see if we can find one of them. And this? Just for a short bit. And I don't see what other choice we have. Listen. Listen to me, all of you, for a moment. Now, we've had well, a bad couple of days. I loved Davy, Jenny, Sean, Mac. They may be okay. We don't know. But we lost some folks. Now, if I could throw myself in the ground, in their stead, I'd do it. <laughs> Gladly. But we are going to ride out, and we are going to find some food. Everybody, we're safe now. There ain't nobody following us through a storm like this one. And by the time they get here, well, we're going to be, we're going to be long gone. We've been through worse than this before. Mr. Pierce, Miss Grimshaw, I need you to turn this place into a camp. We may be here for a few days. Now, all of you, all of you, get yourselves warm. Stay strong. Stay with me. We ain't done yet. Come on, Arthur. All right. We've got some work to do. We, we got our charismatic so leader. They both must have headed down the hill. Sure. Hey, I ain't had time to ask. Me. What really went down back there on that boat? We missed you. That's what happened. Come on. Oh. Hey, you need horses? Oh, yeah. Hey, Mr. Smith, get yourself indoors. You need to rest that hand. I'll live. Get indoors, son. I. We need you strong. Okay. He's a good public speaker, great speech. Makes me think I could survive Come a blizzard on, when let's you want go. to. Ain't sure what we're gonna find out here, Dutch. We have to try. Stay close. We'll do our best to stick to the trail. This goddamn weather. Been two days or more like this now. Oh, it has to blow over soon. Okay, we're running from the law, and something happened on a boat? I'm sure we'll find out later. Bridge coming up. Take it easy. Gotcha. It is hard to see out here. Hey, move up alongside me. Can't see you back there. Can't believe we lost Davy, too. He's the last one, Arthur. No more. We need to get those people warm and fed. At least we don't need to worry about Pinkerton's tailing us in this. Uh, a couple more days, we'll be on the other side. You need to help me pick the others back up. You're the only one I can rely on to stay strong right now. Wait, is that someone coming towards us? You up ahead. Who's there? Micah. Good friend? Gentlemen. Found anything? I think so. Found a little homestead down that way. Okay. Anyone home? Sure. Place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. <clears throat> How's Davy doing? Well, he didn't make it. Nor did little Jenny. That's too bad. Davy was a real fighter. Both of them calendar boys is. Er, <laughs> was. Yeah. And Mac, Sean, we don't know. Quite a business. All right, so we've possibly lost four people in this game. 
it's a fairly large gang, Ask though. Ask him if he's seen John. Hey, have you seen John, Micah? He ain't seen much of anything once this storm came in. He hasn't seen him. He'll be fine. Things always turn out right for that boy. I hope Mac and Sean are still out there somewhere, too. Move up, Arthur. I'll cover the rear. Okay. Yeah. Oh, this is gorgeous. Okay, let's talk to Micah. Whoa, you run into anybody else? You run into anybody else? I, I reckon we're the only ones crazy enough to be out in this, Morgan. Yeah, well, don't talk to me about crazy. Oh, so no, glad you're all right. Okay, let's keep it down now, gentlemen. It's just up ahead. Hey now. Okay. Let's head down there. Just a little bit of dialogue, so I have to keep it slow in some parts. I'll display it in the lower left. Let's hitch up here. Out of bar shows remaining, huh? Whoa! Oh. Okay, did not see this little stick here that is apparently for hitching. Let me handle this. We don't want to spook these fine people. I will follow your lead, Dutch. Sounds like quite you are the, the party. boss man. You two, get yourself out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty looking degenerates. Alright, where Arthur, should I go? In that cattle shed crouch. on the left. Micah, get down behind that wagon in front. Alright, can I just hop this? Yeah. Oh, get back down, Arthur. Hello? Peek. I'll just put my head up over here. Excuse me! Hello? Oh, well, hello, friend. What you want? I am very sorry to disturb you. Uh, my friends and I, well, we got into some trouble up the way, lost in the storm. Oh. Ah, uh, gentlemen. We can't help you, Mr. Micah. I got folks. Arthur. Dying on the train. Arthur, we got a problem. <laughs> folks. There's a corpse right here. Now, I, I just... Arthur, oh. so There's a body food in the wagon. Uh, I hear you. Just gentlemen. keep your eyes on Dutch. All right. I think you should go... To the weapon wheel. Hey. Should I just go ahead and, uh... Now, friend. Yeah, let's do that. I think I got him. I'm not gonna have you running off and telling your friends. Arthur, I said I'd handle this. Didn't seem to be going too well. Goddamn, O'Driscoll boy's here. Why? I don't know. Maybe same reason as us. Micah, go bring the horses closer to the house. Arthur, let's go search the cabin. Might have pulled the trigger too early on that one, but it said to protect Dutch. And he didn't seem like he was going to be able to talk his way out of that one. Smells like a party in here. Uh, 
Turn the place upside down. Grab as many supplies as you can. We need the essential. Okay. Food, medicine, whiskey. Got you. I excel at taking things that aren't mine. Let's go. You should eat something now. Get your strengths up for the ride back. Oh, wait, what was that? Let's go back. Sort of biscuits. I'll open my satchel in a minute. I want more stuff. It's over here. Can't leave the oat cakes. I don't believe it. It's a strange one, all right. Maybe hiding up here too. There's a big price on Colm O'Driscoll's head. Nearly as big as the one on yours. Wanting Colm dead is about the only thing me and Uncle Sam agree on. Oh. Looks like the poor bastard was married, too. At some point. If we can't eat it or drink it, put it down. All right. Uh, Jake and Sandy, Sadie wedding. All right, so they both died. Aww. Place is dry and warm. Dad, are you sure we can't take this? We could maybe move the women and Jack down here. Maybe. We'll see how they are when we get back. I don't really want us to split up. I'm going to start packing the horses. You keep looking. You do that. I'm going to keep taking stuff. I found money. Grab anything you think we can use, then meet me out here. On it, Dutch. I will grab everything. Spec card. Oh, I'm still for the satchel. Wait. Amazing inventions card. What is this? Amazing inventions card, steam locomotive, camera, electrical execution. Typewriter, revolver, telegraph, manned glider, dynamite. Da, da, da. Okay. So it's just a collectible. Can I sell it? Or do I keep it? Maybe Arthur has like a little collection. Maybe he likes collecting cards like that. Everyone needs a hobby, even an outlaw. If that's the case, Arthur, I won't sell your stuff. We'll go up there in a second. This is ours now, as is this. Right. Can I go up here? I can. Okay, we got more bullets. Uh, I don't... Oh yeah, that's the dead guy. What's taking so long in there? You told me to find the good stuff. Still looking, Dutch. Gotta leave no stone unturned. You never know when we need stuff. Okay, check the Micah, dead people. Arthur, keep looking for stuff. Arthur, go see if there's anything in that barn. Micah? You search the cabin, see what we missed. Sure. Okay, I will check barn. I do as I'm told. Smoking a cigarette. Arthur, is all you do hit? Punch? Do we not have any other signature moves here? Sneaky little bastard. Should I kill him? 
No. Not yet. Find out what they're doing here, and where Colm is. Oh, this son of a bitch will talk. Where's Colm? You gotta hit him once for good measure. With the others. At an old mining camp southwest of here. Near the lake. Hit him again. What are you bastards doing? Why are you up here? Uh, we're fixing to rob some train. Gonna blow the tracks. No, I don't know more than that, I swear. <laughs> well, I would say it looks like you have this, Arthur. Do what you want with him. I don't care. But bring that horse when you're done. Oh. I don't know. Oh, I can else. spare, choke him out. Please. Hit him again. Please spare me. I, I promise you you won't see me again, partner. Just let me go, come on. Hmm. If I see you again, you're definitely going to die. Get the hell out Just of a here. fair warning. Go! Where's my gun? Oh, wait, no, Arthur. We need our gun. Got it. Yes. Take it. And the hat. Michael was no help at all. Oh, hello. Oh, it's okay. Alright, boy. Oh, horse bonding. Okay, it's just as easy as patting the horse. I owned horses for a while, and I don't think it works like that. But you know what? What do I know? I was a kid at the time. All you have to do is pat a spooked horse, and it's yours forever. You let him go, huh? It's all the little bastards scurrying off. Yeah. Figured he won't get far in this anyway. That looks like a decent horse. You should keep him. You need to hitch him. He's already skittish. Oh, let's make a little circle. You got this, boy. Get away from me! Oh. oh! What the hell do you think you're doing? <laughs> oh, the guy found in the shower! Why up there, Gage? Oh, Micah. Leave her alone! I wasn't doing nothing. She's one of them old Driscoll's. No, she ain't, Micah. Look at her. Miss! Miss! Are you... Oh, you fool! Michael! Yes. Now, it is gonna be okay. We mean you no harm. Miss! Miss! Come on. It'll be okay. We need to get out of here and quick. Come on now. Oh. We could have oh, used oh. this place, Micah. Are you okay, Miss? They came three days ago. And my husband, they. Okay. Miss, you are safe now. And you can't stay here. You come with us. Arthur. Miss, it's okay. We're bad men. We ain't them. It's okay. Get on. We'll keep you safe until you figure out what you want to do. Is this Sadie from the wedding photo? What's your name, miss? Miss. Adler. Adler. Sadie Adler. Mrs. I... He... It's all right, Sadie. He was my husband. Okay, so are the Adriscolls a rival gang that we have problems with? Hey! Somebody's coming! Looks like it's Dutch. Hey, everybody, Dutch is back! How'd you get on? Uh, Micah found a homestead, but he weren't the first. Colm O'Driscoll and his scum, they beat us to it. Uh, uh, we found some of them there, but there is... 
More about, apparently, scouting the train. Thank you. Well, that's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is. But we found some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food, and this poor soul, Mrs. Adler, Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up? Give her a drink or something? And Mrs. Adler, it's gonna be okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over here. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan, we put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? Now how come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? Get yourself to bed. Uh, he's a tad bit of comedic relief because of the sarcasm, but I'm not gonna like him, am I? Inter he ain't been seen in memory. days. Weather ain't let up. He's strong. And he's smart. Strong, at least. <gasps> Hello, Arthur. Abigail. Arthur, how you doing? Just fine, Abigail. And you? I need you to... I I'm sorry. I'm sorry to ask, but... It's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... Two days. Your John will be fine. I mean, he may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Please go take a look. Javier? Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look for John? <clears throat> You're the two best fit men we've got. Now? She's... We're all... Yeah, we're pretty worried about him. I know the situation were reversed and he looked for me thank you this way last i know john was headed up the river for all we know he kept riding north and never looked back he wouldn't leave not like that uh, wouldn't be the first time Ah, what's the background with John? Hopefully he's alive because outside of him we've lost four people. Davey, Jenny, I think their names were Mac and Sean. Yeah, I see some smoke. Come on, let's take a look. Let's hope it ain't more of O'Driscoll's boys. Well... Seems somebody left. Recently. And... That way. Sure, well, come on then. Okay. There's some tracks leading to the river. Huh. Easy. I will follow you. Oh, can I inspect? Let's cross. See, they continue up that way. I can see the tracks here, Arthur. Oh, sorry, horsey. I know it's cold. Do you think it's John? You tell me. These are horse tracks for sure, but it could be anyone. Let's just see where they lead. So... My horse can... You were there, Javier. What really happened on that boat? We had the money, it seemed fine. Then suddenly they were everywhere. Bounty hunters? No, Pinkertons. It was crazy. Raining bullets. Mm. Watch out for this crevice. Interesting Dutch killed a girl in a bad way. But it was a bad situation. That ain't like him, though. Okay. Tracks go left, down here. I had to take a pause and figure out what Davey was causing got shot. audio latency. Mac and John, both shot too. Sean, we don't even know. 
I'm surprised we escaped at all. By the time you boys showed up from the other side of town, we were only just holding... We were only just holding on. Bad business, all right. Going to ignore that I did that. that it's okay, Javier. Coming in hot again. We'll lose these tracks if we don't move fast. All right, so Mac is dead. Sean is still up in the air. Gotcha. I'm following you, so... You seem to know what you're doing here, Javier. Careful, it's getting narrow here. I will be careful. I do not want to lose my horse. Come on, boy. Horse Horses is getting though. tired. Yeah, a lot of fresh snow here. Uh, I don't know about this, Javier. I mean, we can't follow nothing. Uh, let's push on a little bit. Maybe we'll pick up the trail again. How did John end up all the way out here? Come on now. Hey, look! Over there! You see that? Following you. Oh, is that John? John was riding that horse when we left Blackwater. Let's see if he can hear us. It's okay, horsey. Oh. Come on. Up there. Brother, up. Huh? Somewhere. I don't think we can go much further on the horses. We'll have to walk from here. I'd grab that shotgun from your horse. Who knows what's up ahead? Go back to the horse for the shotgun. Okay. You getting that gun then? Come nice. on. One member still alive. Please don't slip and fall. It's slippery, be careful. You got this, Arthur. Yeah, that we're high up you. here. You're telling me. Displayed. Got him. Drops down here. Watch yourself. Careful here. John, how did you get all the way over here? Stay low under here. You made this so difficult. Okay. Good now. Watch your step. This is real slippery. Stay close to the wall. Up here. Come on. Gap here. Over here. That sounds closer now. Come on. We are on our way, John. We're you coming, wanted us to get John. to you faster. You shouldn't have been all the way over here. Stamina. Yeah. Nice. Let's keep moving then. Come on. Good. John, where have you gone? Where are you? If you don't answer us, I will leave you here. Here. Over here! Alright! 
Pipe down, Marston! That's quite a scratch you got there. Never thought I'd say this, but good to see you, Arthur Morgan. Oh, what happened to you? You don't look so good. I don't feel too good, neither. Arthur, strong Freezing. boy. Don't die just yet, cowboy. Come on, compadre. Well, we can't go back the way we came. Let's try this way. Ain't you a sorry sight. Can't argue with you there. See? I told Dutch you weren't the right man for this. I'm sure you did. Oh. You all right? I think so. Come on. Hopefully this will lead us out. I love the overall family dynamic of you really get on my nerves, but I'm here to help. You see that on the ridge? Perfect. John just you barely lifts his head. I'll keep John's friends off until you're clear. All right, John, come on. Let's get you on that horse. All right, where's the doggies? I do not want to hurt you, doggies, but I must lock on an enemy. We're getting you out of here. Study my horse. I'm Come coming. on then. Let's get back to the others. Yeah. I don't feel too good. You'll be fine. It's just like a a dog bite. Uh, knew a fella. Got bit by a dog. Died an hour later. You ain't gonna die. What Not kind yet. of dog was it? Be fine. Up there! Four of them! These are some very ambitious wolves. John, what did you do to anger the wolves? They don't think so. Jesus. They made a beeline still with right us, John. Austin? Just about. You're gonna be okay. We have some shelter now. Thanks for coming for me. Of course. That bullet in Blackwater, now this. You had a hell of a time. And Arthur always says, I'm lucky. <laughs> None of us are lucky right now. We should ride in the water for a bit. Try to lose a scent. Don't want to leave a trail right back to camp. You know, we're gonna need to come up with a better story for that scar. So, freezing, bleeding, starving? Damn near getting eaten to death ain't good enough for you. Here, let's cross to the left. Yeah, come on. Let's push hard and get back. See those buildings up ahead, John? That's where we camped. Nearly there. Come on! Someone help John down off this horse. Can we get some help here? Anyone else around? Can we get some help? We need some help here! Come on, help him down. You're alive! You're alive! Come on, here we go. 
There we go. Ay, careful, idiotas, it's his leg. Come on, let's get you warm. Thank you, thank you both. This is a new low, even by your standards. Thank you, I think. Thank you. You got any other lost maidens need saving? <laughs> Not today. Have you and Dutch talked about how we're gonna get out of this? I was just discussing with Herr Strauss when the weather breaks. I suppose we'll have to keep heading east. East? Into all that? That civilization? I know. The west is where our problems are worse. Come on, Herr Strauss. Let's get warm. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. <sighs> Yeah, they seem to be doing having a lot of problems. We have a rival gang, the O'Driscolls. Pinkertons. We've been running for weeks. We found shelter and been resting here in some old abandoned mining town while we wait the thaw. Hardly the spring I had been hoping for. So what now, Dutch? Some stuff happened on a boat. We get warm, and we wait. When the storm breaks, we move. But we're safe here. Warm enough, I guess. You sound doubtful. Not doubtful, just worried. We have been shot at before, Jose. I don't feel that this is honestly okay, anything. I can't take that. I hope not. We had a bit of bad luck, but then the storm covered our tracks, so now we wait a bit, and we go back to Blackwater, and we get our money, or we get some more money, and we keep heading west. But we're heading east. For now. For now. We got this. We're safe. Stay strong, Jose. Okay, Dutch seems to be a very caring leader, but he's also very ambitious. Because I would think you would want to get away from your enemies, but apparently they left money somewhere. Which is also understandable, I'd go back for the money too. Hello. I'm just in here to take your stuff if you have any. Oh, I can greet. You okay in here, Molly? It might be warmer by the fire. I'm fine, thank you. Okay. Okay, well, try to stay warm. Just gonna try and stay warm. Okay. Is that it for Molly? All right, Jose. You weren't there, Jose. I'm aware of that. And they shouldn't have been either. Oh, we can't change nothing now. Well, try to stay strong. All right, Arthur. Dutch. And the money's well hidden in Blackwater? I believe so. And they don't even know we dumped it. Oh, uh, well, it can wait then. Okay. Anyway, try not to worry. Thank you, Arthur. You're not going to ask him about that thing Javier brought brought up about killing a random girl because that seemed important what is there to look at around here oh i think i went out the back door hello horsey are you my horsey yeah i have to come up with a name for you I'll figure it out. Anything in here? Uh, oh, people. Lots of people. It's okay. It's okay. You're safe now. She'll be okay, Arthur. I'm sure she will, Mary Beth. Alright, I can talk you to okay Karen. There, Karen? Fine, but I would kill for a whiskey. You ain't wrong. Well, just hang in there. Okay, Arthur. Keep warm. Just a few more days, and we'll get off this hill. I hope so. Stay strong. It's been a nasty few days. I know. And we've had tough times before. 
We keep moving, and we keep together. Same as always. All of you. Ain't that so, Mr. Morgan? Of course. All right, we got our den mother. Uh, I could talk to you guys. Just look after her. I'll do my best. Poor woman. Been through a lot. Chooseth the tree that will not rot. Reverend? He seeketh unto him a cunning workman to prepare a graven image that shall not be moved. Have ye not known? Have ye not heard? Hath it not been told to you from the beginning? Well, try to stay strong. Have ye not sure. understood from the foundation? We should have a little food if you're hungry, Mrs. Adler. Is it he that sitteth upon the circle of the okay, earth, man. and the inhabitants huh? thereof are You just ask Mary Beth here. That anyway, try not to work. As a curtain, I don't care. Them out mm -hmm. as a tent to dwell I'm in. sorry, Sadie. That you know the how these things go. We've been through bad you times before. Yep. Okay, well, try to stay warm. Yes, well, all right. He has the same send off for everybody. Stay strong. Don't worry. Stay warm. Oh, hello, child. Happier now, Jack. Will he be okay? Yeah, I think so. Just needs to rest. Well, try to stay strong. Yeah, I'm glad, sir. All right, kid. How you doing, Uncle? I'm okay. I've been through worse. Well, I did this one time in uh... Sorry, I, I can't right now. The long-winded uncle. Well, just hang in there. Yeah. Just want to get out of here. <laughs> uh, tell you staying me? warm there? Trying to. At least we've got a fire now. Yep. Okay, well, try to stay warm. All right, then. Abigail. Hey, how's he doing? He's okay. He just needs some rest. Thank you again, Arthur. That's all right. Keep him warm. Anyway, try not to worry. What a mess this all is. Uh... Oh, <sighs> you doing I thought you were okay now? Asleep. I think so. Thank you. Of course. Well, just hang in there. Good enough. <laughs> okay, Mr. Straff. I think so. Well done for finding Mr. Marston. Some good news at least. Yep. Well, try to stay strong. Yes, I suppose. Real pretty, Reverend. Try to stay strong. What on earth does it mean? I don't know, Miss Karen. I realize now that I truly don't, that it brings me comfort. Okay. Can we talk to the Reverend? Oh, yes. You got any miracles for us, Reverend? I wish I did. Yep. We need something. Okay, well, try to stay warm. May the Lord keep you. Okay. Well, this is our gang. Minus Davy, Jenny, and Mac. And according to Javier, Sean is up in the air. He might be alive. Let's back this way. Anything in these run-down little houses? Church. Okay. I know my missions are off on the other side or away from me. I just want to look around. Just to see if there's anything that might help us out.
those were our wagons that we came in on. Stamina has gone up again. That's good. What is this? Okay, on the map buildings I can walk inside, have a little gray interior. Horsey, I'm still thinking of a name for you. Okay, who needs to talk to us? Uh, Javier. Javier. Another cold morning. How are you feeling? I'm okay. Better than most. Good. Okay, Arthur. Okay, Javier. Up with you boys, because I thought you liked action. A couple of days on the lam, and you lot have all turned yellow. Apart from you, of course. Shut up, Micah. I ain't never seen so many long faces. Mm. I guess, I guess folks miss them. That fell. But when I fall, I don't want no fuss. When you fall, there'll be a party. <laughs> <laughs> well, <I'm> <laughs> Probably. Uh -huh. Funny, huh? Sure. <laughs> oh! I don't feel like being laughed at by the likes of you two. Stop it! I'd let now, him at him. You fools punching each other when Como Driscoll's needing punching hard. You want to sit around waiting for him to come find us? All of you, we got work to do. Come on. Are you sure about this, Dutch? Yes. Folks been through a lot recently. We hardly back on our feet yet. And the last thing we need is to get bushwhacked by Como O'Driscoll. Let's go. I know you hate him, Dutch. He's here for us. I doubt that. No, you're just doubting me. I would never doubt you, Dutch. You... You always said revenge is a luxury we can't afford. This is the right call, Arthur. Take this. And this is about more than revenge for business long ago. They were talking about trains and detonators here. Cole always had good information. Come on. And you think now is the right time to hit a train? Now, you might fancy living on deer piss and rabbit shit. I'm getting too old for that life. Mr. Matthews, Mr. Smith, Mr. Pearson. Would you please look after the place? There are O'Driscolls about. Yeah. All right. Southwest, right, Arthur? Yeah. He said follow the main trail southwest. They're camped near some lake. Okay. Let's go find these bastards before they find us and rob this score they're planning. Sounds like a plan to me. Let's go get ourselves a train. I'm taking in all the imagery. It just looks so cool with all of them riding out together. What's that? Tracks. Horses, quite a few of them. As far as I can tell, the only fools out here are us and them. They must be this way. Well, you let's good, go Dutch? Find them. Of course. Listen, I know you don't think much of my ideas recently, but this is the right move. Okay. You know I got your back. I learned a long time ago that you hit Como Driscoll. Wait for him, and people you love will die. This feud between you and him needs to be put to rest, one way or another. <laughs> it will be. Some things I can forgive, others I can't forget. What he did to Hannibal, I can't do neither. You killed his brother, Dutch. Oh. Yes, I did. And I hope the bastards will be reunited soon enough. That's how this will end. Damn right, boss. 
Okay, well, who started it? Smoke? Let's cut up here and take a look. They said it was near the lake, so we must be close. Hold. So this issue Hold with the rival here. gang is very personal. <laughs> All right, gentlemen. This is it. Are we goddamn ready? Ready, Dutch. Good. Now, Mr. Morgan and I, we're gonna head up here a little, see if we can't get a sense of the layout of the camp. Mr. Williamson, Mr. Bell, you two take up a hidden position just outside the camp. Mr. Summers, Mr. Escuela, you two hold position here. Let's go. What do I need? Yeah, we got this covered. We're Dutch. One second, Dutch. There they are. Uh, that's definitely them. Home? I think so. Yeah, that's him. Okay. Our main target's already right here. Oh, he's riding off. Who's he talking to? He don't seem very happy. No. Oh. Okay, that's they one way him? to get your point Seem across. To be. Should we go get him? No. Cone can wait. Best to get some of them out of there. And much less fun to rob him and his score if he never finds out about it. Come on, let's get down there. Don't forget to grab that rifle from your horse. I can do that. You that two, get up there and keep us covered. <laughs> sure thing. Okay. We... Okay, this is the Long I'm sure in Karma Repeater. Okay. Good. Come on, let's go. Gotcha. Seems easiest to take the same path down as Bill and Micah. Like you said, revenge is a luxury we can't afford. Yeah, just wasn't sure you agreed with me. Arthur. Arthur, have you completely lost faith in me? Our needs right now are supplies, equipment, and a way out of here. Everything else, including coal, can wait. Okay. There's enough of those bastards down there to deal with as it is. Now, come on. Okay, at least there's an overall agreement that we have to do what's best for the gang right now. Because his issues with this Colm guy seem very personal, and I don't even know who Annabelle is. Steep here. Careful. Try not to completely just fall down. Hey, you took my oh. One of you bastards did. It was here 
Oh, I thought I already heard people fighting. They were just talking. Come on, Arthur, just slide down. Take the lead on this. They're going to be gunning for you. They ain't got me yet. No, but the way our luck's been running... Hush. Let's just get down there first. Down through these trees, quick. I was gonna say, we're down here now. Oh, that's one of our guys. So, what are we doing, Dutch? I can take this if you want. Just make the call. You want to take the lead? Go. Okay. Look at Dutch to give instructions. on this right now. Uh, send the gang, take the lead. Okay, I'll go first. Oh, okay, we got a slow mo for getting him in the shoulder. Search everything. You recognize any of them, Dutch? Of course not. Paul doesn't give a damn about his men. All he cares about is numbers. If you can shoot a gun, and ride a horse, and kill without thought, you're in. Think how long some of you have been with me. I imagine Colm doesn't even know half the names of these fools. Grab him, Arthur. We need his pocket change. Heads up, boys! We got more coming in from the forest. Huh. Need to get where I can see better. Oh, I didn't want to shoot the horse. You made me shoot a horse. You deserve death. Ah, uh, we can defend. Yeah, let me get where I can actually see them. Oh, 
can't shoot through a tree. Move your head. Dead people. Didn't even realize how many of you there were. We're waiting on you, Arthur. Well, you can keep waiting, Dutch. I take my time with these things. We don't have time to mess around. Okay, but if you want a cigar, I just found one, and you'll be thankful that I stopped and picked it up. So let me just go through my process. Arthur, See bourbon? Get over here. No. I will continue doing what I'm doing. See, canned fruit, that's important. Good work, boys. Now, let's tear this place apart. Bill! You go search that wagon there. Mike, search that building. Arthur, you take that building to the left. I already right, searched man. that building. Quick. I'm gonna Fire go search the other ones. Explosives, anything you can. Let's go. Yep. Did not mean to throw your body around. would be up here. Anything interesting? No. I came up here for the workout. I can't open that? Arthur, what kind of outlaw are we if we can't knock down the door to an outhouse? Disappointed in you. You can carry the dead weight of a grown man, but you can't open that door. I'm doing literally everything but what Touch asked me to. It's over here. Okay, this is nothing but something I can climb to continue delaying doing anything. Alright, I don't see anything up here that I want. Oh. Sorry, Arthur. Oh, dynamite. Here. This looks good. What do you think, Bill? Well, looks fine. <laughs> Smells good. Come on. Did we get everything? Think so, boss. Found this on one of them. Thank you. This is perfect. Oh, yeah. Interesting. This is something about the train they was gonna rob. A Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Mount back up. Let's keep moving. Now that's a name, Leviticus Cornwall. All right, let's get out of here. Proud of you boys. All of you. Not a man down. Damn it! I want to be in the front. Fellers. Not bad for some starving down and outs. They can pummel us hard as they like. But we will always get back up and fight. That's who we are. Outlaws for life, fellas. Wait until we have John, Matt, 
Charles and Sean back riding with us, and I believe, I know, they will all be back. Well, I'm he can't get home, but this head will hurt him a lot more than any bullet in the head. Especially when we rob this train, too. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll see about that. Oh, indeed we will. You know, he'll come after us. Oh, of course he will, just like all the rest. But we're gonna stay a step ahead of them. Make sure we always know where they are before they know where we are. We allowed ourselves to get a step behind in Blackwater. That won't happen again. Okay, decent plan if we can pull it off. All right, dig in, fellas. Let's make some ground. Following you. Very pretty scenery. I want to figure out exactly where we are. Because we're supposed to be heading east. Hey, you see that fella? Wasn't he at the camp at home? Leave him to me. All right, we're heading back. Just bring him back alive. Okay, I guess that's okay, my job. Come back here, no, friend. No. And lasso O'Driscoll. Do I have a lasso? I do. Okay. Hold L2 when you're ready. Okay. Now, come on. Come here. You got the wrong fella. I don't think I do. Am I close enough for a lasso? I don't feel like I am. Let me... Oh! 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 Okay. <laughs> don't hurt me! <laughs> oh. Are you just gonna stand there while I do this? Okay. Oh. Come on, new friend. I think I accidentally kicked him in the head. Oh, sorry, buddy. Orders are orders. What's your name, boy? I don't know. You don't know your name? It's Kieran. Kieran what? Duffy. Kieran Duffy. Well, I ain't gonna lie to you. This is a real bad day for you, Kieran Duffy. Where are you taking me? Somewhere you ain't gonna like. Why? What are you gonna do to me? Some fan you ain't gonna like. So oh. I'd advise you to save your breath for screaming. No, please! Honestly, I would have believed him if he said he didn't know his name. The way he fell off that horse probably could have actually broken his neck in real life. Don't do this, please! You can't convince me otherwise. I'd imagine you don't have enough money to bribe me. I'm begging you! Shut your mouth, you little shitter. I will shut it for you. Look at the moon through the clouds. Oh, the way the moonlight comes down. That is nice. That is very cool. Oh, I think I'm gonna puke. I don't wanna yeah. die, mister. I have a heart, mister. Are you trying to test me? Is that it? Because I will break every bone in your body. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Not one more goddamn word. Am I clear? Okay, okay. That's two bones right there. <laughs> Already kicked the poor guy in the head. <laughs> It'll be all right, buddy. We'll just ask you some questions. And then you'll probably die. But that's okay. Oh, this is where I'm supposed to be. I was just gonna leave him on the horse while I went and explored if this was somewhere new. I love the moon through the clouds. Okay. Come on, Kieran. You sack of shit. Let's introduce me, you please. to the boys. Oh, don't worry. 
They're real nice. Especially Micah. You two are gonna be great friends. Huh. You found a little shit, did you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got him. Very good. Welcome to your new home. Hope you're real happy here. <sighs> you want me to make him talk? Oh no, now all we'll get is lies. Uncle, Mr. Williamson, tie this maggot up someplace safe. We get him hungry first. I got a saying, my friend. We shoot fellas as needs shooting, save fellas as needs saving, and feed them as need feeding. We are going to find out what you need. I can't believe it! An O'Driscoll in my camp! No, I ain't an O'Driscoll, mister! I, I hate that fella! Oh, whatever you say, son. Well done, Arthur. I'm just sorry we missed out on Cole. Oh, there's time enough for that. Now, I gotta figure out if we can hit that train. Okay. Alright, let's see if Kieran can actually be helpful, or if we just get rid of him. Oh, a new day. Bill. Hi, Bill. Morning. How's your jaw? Cause Micah did knock the crap up. out of you. Okay, considering. Wait, don't walk away from me. I wanna talk. That's the spirit. Okay then. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't want to talk to me. You got anything in here that I can uh borrow? Oh. Lenny. Having fun in here, Lenny? More since we robbed the old Driscolls. <laughs> Hopefully we'll be out of here soon. Anyway, try not to worry. <laughs> Good luck. Try not to worry. Try to stay warm. Try to stay strong. Did, uh, was Micah in here? Yeah. No, no Bill. Bill doesn't want to talk to us. Guess that worked out with the old Driscolls. Now we just have to rob this train and get out of here. Yeah, but them wagons are still snowed in. Well, try to stay strong. I'll be fine. Uh, Arthur, do you have any other closing statements? Who else is around? We can tell them to be strong, stay warm. One other thing. Can you get a chance? Send someone down the track back to that farmhouse. Okay. Why? That poor woman's husband needs burying. Of course. And is it safe down there? Oh, just send someone sensible. Understood. So not Micah. All right. Oh, wait. Dutch, talk to me. Good call, Dutch. It's the least we can do for the poor woman. I say Micah should do it, but that ain't a good idea. Well, just hang in there. All right, then. <laughs> oh, I really hope that stays his constant goodbye sentence throughout the game. The say body's it? in a wagon out front of the house. I'll send someone. Thanks, Jose. Anyway, try not to worry. Okay, Arthur. Can we just go bury him? How you doing, Molly? So now you're robbing a train. How is that going to help us? Money? I'd speak to Dutch about that. Okay, well, try to stay warm. Okay, Arthur. Money would be very helpful in our situation. Okay, this is our little room. What is everything else? Ooh, what did I do? Okay. Oh, he keeps a journal. Wait. We have been running for weeks. I mean, running more than usual. The job they was pulling in Blackwater, robbing that ferry, it turned into a disaster. Young Jenny got killed, poor thing, while Sean and Mac both got arrested or killed. No one seems sure which. Dutch shot a girl. I'm not sure if by accident or design, and it seems like it might have been a setup. 
We took to the hills in an almighty scramble, leaving money and most of our things behind. Okay. Hardly the spring I had been hoping for, Hosea and I had been planning a robbery of our own in Blackwater, but I guess it's been abandoned along with most of what I owned. I am profoundly concerned as to what happens next. Once we leave this place or the law finds us cowering up here, find a girl, tell a woman I should say. Her husband had been murdered by some of Colm O'Driscoll's boys. Nasty business. Oh, found a girl. Okay. So we get a little bit of insight into Arthur's thoughts. Gonna go find more people to talk to. Tell them to stay warm. Uh, wagon. Okay, I'll do that last. I'll check in on that wagon last. Unless I'm closer because I want to see who this is. Oh, Lenny. Good morning. Hey. You okay, Lenny? How are you doing? Not good. We'll be okay. Okay. <laughs> Lenny doesn't want to talk either. He's had a rough time. I was gonna say, Arthur, if you don't pick up your stuff and go, be tempted just to ride the horse over here. At least we get a little bit of a stamina upgrade. else is around that would like to chit chat. You are really, really you really are. Oh. Eaten by wolves. Never heard such a ridiculous idea. <laughs> who gets themselves eaten by wolves? I mean, really, who? John does. I didn't mean to, Abigail. <sighs> you never mean to. But you always do. Always trouble <laughs> well i've certainly made my mistakes what's that supposed to mean whatever you want it to you are an annoying man john marston you just shut up and get some rest <laughs> i'm just gonna sit in on their relationship troubles arthur kind of looks like their therapist right now oh john how did that make you feel you feeling any better uh, not a whole lot. Can't seem to get warm. Well, I'm hoping we can get out of here soon. Well, try to stay strong. All right. Oh, Strauss. All right, Mr. Strauss. Yes, happy you boys all made it back in one piece. Just about. Anyway, try not to worry. Just get us out of this damn place. You doing all right, Mary Beth? I guess so. Glad you boys made it back from that raid in one piece. Yeah. Hopefully we'll all be getting out of here soon. That it for Mary Beth? You still here? Uh, Maybe uh, I'll scratch myself and feign a limb. <sighs> Ain't you got nothing better to do? Whatever the beef is between you two, now ain't the time. I didn't mean to pick a fight. But also, it seems more like a brotherly fight, so it's okay. You're allowed to mess with your injured sibling as long as they're alive and it's not life-threatening. So, how are you feeling about this train? I mean, we gotta do something. Yeah, but that's more than something. Okay, well, try to stay warm. Okay, brother. You've done the best you can with this place, Miss Grimshaw. It could be worse, given the circumstances. No doubt. Well, just hang in there. Aha, uh -huh, Arthur. <laughs> oh, wait. I'm only joking, Marston, you know that. Yeah, well, you really pick your moments. <laughs> You'll be okay. Well... I'll let you rest. Just a little bit of a scratch. Anyway, try not to worry. Good enough. <laughs> Morning. Arthur. How are you feeling? I'm beginning to regret ever coming to this country. We'll find a way off of here soon. Yes, I suppose. 
I'm trying to talk to the lady next to me, Abigail. You okay, Abigail? Yeah. How'd you boys get on with the old Driscolls? It's dealt with. For now, anyway. Okay, well, try to stay warm. Just get us off this damn mountain. I don't want to be here either. Walking around the snow is such a hassle. Hey, hey. Oh, what is it? Oh, diffuse? Ah, it's nothing. This ain't funny. Oh, what's up with Karen? I mean, I guess in this situation, if you can't help, you might as well sleep. All quiet here while we were gone? I think so. I slept for most of it. T typical. Well, try to stay strong. Yep. <laughs> I ain't going nowhere. All right. Is that it for these guys? Mrs. Oh. Adler, oh. once we get off here, is there somewhere we can take you? No. I, I don't know. I don't really have anyone. Okay. Well, you can stay with us as long as you want. New recruit. Anyway, try not to worry. <laughs> Whatever. Fair response. How you holding up, Tilly? Starving. Has Pearson got anything cooking out there? I'll check on him in a bit. Well, just hang in there. Take care, then. Uh, can I talk to the kid? If your pa ain't talking too much, it's just because he's worn out. I know. Mama told me. Okay, good. Well, try to stay strong. Okay. Did I miss who his dad was? Is it John? Your dad will be fine. He's just being a bit of a wuss right now. It's nothing but a couple of scratches. He shouldn't have ran up on the mountain on his own, so it's technically his fault. Warm enough, Reverend? More in need of my... my medicine. I can't help you there. Okay, well, try to stay warm. Yes. I yes. What kind of medicine you need, Reverend? You said it with a bit of a pause. Mr. Strauss? Uh, yes, yes. Hi, Arthur. How are you holding up? Bad. Look around you. Gonna be all right. Just get us out of this damn place. Okay, I might want to start pestering my friends. Hey, I ain't serious. Well, ain't none of us in the joking mood right now. Look, we're going to get through this. Well, just hang in there. Stay warm. Okay. We have to get to the yellow marker. Who's staying out here? Is that Lenny? If it's Lenny. He doesn't really care to talk to us. Hey, Lenny. Hey. Okay, who is over here? Oh wait, <coughs> you have a mission. Let me go inside We're this house starve first. to death up here, Mr. Morgan. Oh, the barn, not a house. They'll Hello, horsies. Me, you know. Oh, maybe they'll come looking for those old Driscoll boys we killed at that ranch down the way. Who was that? Declan? Fat Tommy? We didn't get as far as introductions. Oh, oh God. Yeah, I didn't really ask them their names. Are you just hanging out in here? Okay. Oh. Charles? You okay in here, Charles? It's all right, considering. Well, try to rest that hand. Well, try to stay strong. Okay, Arthur. Uh, nothing but horses. That's a pretty short horse. Not here to judge the horses. Now we can take a mission. What is going on, sir? We're okay. We have a few cans of food and a rabbit. For what? 10, 12 people? 
When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pierce. We were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. When we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. And if needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. <laughs> I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found enough, enough of this. <laughs> we'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold this man's on. got a bow. He knows what he's talking about. Here. You're gonna need something to eat out there. Assorted salted offal. Starving would be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if this game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. I trust him as my hunting partner. He's got a bow and arrow. Here, you take this. I can't use it, and you'll have to. Now oh, I have a bow. Joking. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn, I imagine. <laughs> Hunting lesson. All right. Let's go. Let's head out. Okay, we got 22 arrows. We got 22 chances to catch something. Charles? I'm okay, apart from this hand. Stupid mistake. Still bad? It'll be fine in a day or two. I just can't pull a bow right now. I uh, sure hope I can. Never really got the hang of it. You'll be fine. <sighs> so, you reckon we're gonna find something to kill that ain't no Driscoll? Huh. There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. We'll head up this way. Find some higher ground. Whew. Sounds like a plan. Been a wild few days, all right. That ride north from Blackwater, getting stuck in the storm, going out for John, that thing with the old Driscolls. You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that. Just a lot to think back on. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. Well, Javier told me a bit, but it sure weren't good. Yeah, I would also like to learn more about the job in Blackwater that went wrong. We have to go back at some point for some money. Must have been a good amount if you want to go back there. Really enjoy the cinematic scenes though, especially if you're going off further into the map. This pace matching mechanic makes me nostalgic for the See days the that ground uncovered here. You had to try to walk alongside an NPC. Let's look down this way. Because you were either going too fast or too, too slow. That's Never perfect. Good. No wind at all is bad, but if it's too strong, they won't move. Now shh. Stay quiet. Listen to Charles. He seems like the expert here. Hey, stop here a second. I see something. Okay. There's deer been here recently. How can you tell? How can you not? Let's walk it from here. Quiet as you can. Stay low and move slowly. You take the lead. I don't know where we're going. You see the tracks? I think so. 
Maybe not. Yeah. Focus. Are these it? You can use Eagle Eye to highlight. Okay. Gotcha. Cool. Charles, are you coming with me? Yeah, I can barely see tracks. Or maybe I'm just imagining things. No, those are definitely trucks. Very light ones, but they're there. can't mess this up because we do need this deer. Oh, and I think it's showing up on the map, actually. Or maybe not. There was a bigger gray circle off towards the corner. Shh. Down there. You I see, see him? Hmm? Quick. The bow's already quick. Get that bow out, Arthur. Try to hit him in the neck or head. Quick and clean. Gotcha. Get good tension on the string before releasing. Just gotcha. don't overdo it. Now, Arthur. <laughs> now let's try for another. Oh, for another? Where? Hunt another deer. Track the animal's attention by selecting a call while aiming at it. Okay. So we just leave this here? I can get my arrow back. Oh, I see it. I see two, actually. Well done. I think that's all we can carry. Okay, you pick up one, I'll get the other. Nice. You sure your hand's okay? Uh, it'll be fine once I get it on my shoulder. <clears throat> okay, I'll go grab the other one. Then completely mess it up and we have two deer. Whistle. Oh, that's so much simpler than trying to get back to my horse. Hunting trip was a success. Whoa. Can be dropped off at Pearson's. Nice work, Arthur. Should oh. be enough meat here to keep us all fed for a few days. You found him. <laughs> I knew you'd be okay with that bow. It's easier when they ain't shooting back. <laughs> Fair. We've seen enough of that. Considering how things were looking a couple of days back, well, maybe our luck is finally on the turn. Seems to me we should be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. Soon. People are still weak, and well, you've seen how snowed in those wagons are. They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Mm -hmm. You're probably right. And even if we do get off here, what then? We still have a big price on our heads. This is a big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Dutch and Jose will have a plan. <laughs> I don't know about that. One wants to go east and the other Notice wants to go back Pearson's west. Notice had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwater. We give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go, and he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. Good that we caught more than one. We've only been up here a few days and have already picked up two more mouths to feed. One more. 
We ain't feeding Neil Driscoll a damn thing. Except maybe that can of salt and awful Pearson was kind enough to give us. The girl, she has a wild look in her eye. <sighs> of course. She lost her husband, her home, everything she had. So what do we do with her? Well, once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. She might have family somewhere. Who knows? Maybe she'll deal with the O'Driscoll for us. <laughs> well, I know who my money's on in that fight. He's Same. weak, but that makes him much more useful. Maybe we can get to them before they get to us. What is it with the O'Driscolls? You ain't dealt with them? I suppose. Yeah, we ain't run into them much the last six months. I guess because they've been over this way. Nah. I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well, we've been scrapping over scores with them for years. Big gang. Nasty sons of bitches. Their leader, Cole, and Dutch go way back. And not in a good way. A proper blood feud. So I heard. Watch out. Bear up ahead. Let's see if we can find another way around. Okay. You must be real hungry. Stay well back. Spring storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep all winter. Continue the conversation. Off the trail. Here, yeah. spooked your horse. Yeah, okay, boy. Yeah, okay, boy. You're all right, boy. We ain't ever talked that much, you and me. How long you been with us now? Five, six months? Something like that. But you didn't expect this. What? Any of this. Blackwater mess. Being up here. Ah. Uh, sooner or later, a job's gonna go wrong. Nature of life. I just thought you might have moved on by now. You want me to move on? No. No, not at all. I just... I know you could run it alone. No problem. I did that for a long time. I'm done with it. Always wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. I still wonder that most nights. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch. You know, Dutch is different. Oh, yes. Dutch is certainly different. <laughs> he treats me fair. Most of you do. And for a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't normally the case. Well, we need you now. More than ever. Good. And how long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Oh. 20 years, something like that. Since I was a boy. 20 years? Yeah. He taught me to read. John, too. He taught me a few other things, him and Hosea. Huh. I'm sure. Dutch saved me. Save most of us. That's why we need to stick by him through this. He always sees us right. All right, that explains a few things. I noticed the Dutch relies on Arthur a little How's bit more than. He's all right. He'll do for now. I was gonna I say the rest of them. You letting me take Taima the other night. She's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but he loves that horse. Huh. I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the Count once. Fuck me faster than a bull. Won't take nobody but him. Some interesting names. I have to come up for a good one for my horse. But yeah, Dutch and Arthur definitely seemed close and explains Arthur's relationship with John. All the sarcasm, but still looking out for each other. Yeah. Whoa. 
drop these off with Pearson. I'm gonna hit time over here. Moved a little bit. Drop some food back, boys. Come on, let's get these over to Pearson. Uh, thank you for showing me how to use the boat properly. I only showed you a little. It takes a lifetime of practice to master. I got time. Well, well, well. <sighs> what a surprise. I found a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid you. He loves me, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now, shoot, get lost. Uh, well, see you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yes, oh. seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that hand, Charles. I'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. Do I get to skin you? <coughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You getting out of the dirty one, work? You dumped on the floor there. Oh, okay. Huh. Not too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. Right. You know, you could trade these or sell these in pretty much any town. If you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck. Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting, after all these years. Yeah, well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. First hunting trip was a success a few days later. Master hunting challenge. Check the log. Okay. It's been a bad few weeks, but Dutch being Dutch, he is busy making plans, and Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. Well, I thought you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respect, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You still here then? I owe you. Yeah. And you'll pay me. But for the moment, just rest. Arthur. I think it's time for the train. Want me to come? Of course I do, but look at you. I was always ugly, Dutch. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Hello, Abigail. Dutch. Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. He's seen me now. What's left of me? What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. <laughs> Bide your time. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. <laughs> we all know it. Now, railway. They have a great man. relationship. Bill, now you ride ahead and set the charge at the water tower just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? The weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah. Come on! What do you want from me, Hosea? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Hosea. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. But we need money. Everything we have is in Blackwater. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly, we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutch. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? Yeah, he's a big railway magnet, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch! Gentlemen! 
it is time to make something of ourselves. Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob. Okay. Dutch is a very ambitious leader. I respect it. But it makes me think a lot of things are going to go wrong because of that ambition. I'm loving this so far. I like that you can interact with people. And I love the relationship between the gang members right now. Very excited to see what else we can do in Red Dead Redemption 2. But we will be ending this episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you join me again. And I will be seeing you very soon. Bye.